You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was? Before I was me, I was you. you. Man score, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, GYBB, get your balls back, WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited, because we got a special show. Now, I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I really mean it. Finally. Mm, Finally, man. we don't have to lie anymore about it. Motherfucker, Andre is early. Wow. <laughs> the Zoom shit working out, bro. Andre is early, look like the hip. He look like the hip. The hip hop, uh, the hip hop Grim Reaper, this nigga just murdering niggas with his bony hands. I'm telling and you, bro. Sit, Harry, you good? You ready to rock and roll? Harry, you can't Harry. hear me, son. All right, you look like you're trying to do drugs, not on camera, though. Harry look, <laughs> Harry, Harry look like he got AK 47s <laughs> in a in a wooden box. You know what I mean? By you got a politician's dust. daughter in some basement yeah. right now. You Is definitely it? do buy an AK from a guy that looks like Harry. Yo. <laughs> What's up? I'm just celebrating Christmas, and I don't know what to do with this hair. I grew it during the quarantine. I don't know how long. Son, you need to get me a stinger. That's what you need to get me. Hey man, not over here, man. There's a motel we got to meet at to do all that shit. I, you know how this works. I be wondering. I seen a video today of a hood nigga driving around with a rocket launcher. I was wondering where he got this. <laughs> Harry. That's Harry's work. That's Listen, Harry's if, work. If some of these fucking... motherfuckers would book me at the clubs, I wouldn't have to resort to other income. That's yeah. all. <laughs> Once you guys start supporting the Patreon, maybe then I don't have to do that anymore. Yo, if y'all sign up for the Patreon, Harry gives you an ounce of C4. <laughs> so, <laughs> he got you. What you do with it, that's your business, man. I'm not, I ain't about the politics. That's it, you know yo. I mean? I'm, ain't no uh, victims. Uh, it's only uh, volunteers, uh, baby. Um, <laughs> And what is that? Is that an AK bullet you sitting there vaping out of, Dante? What is that? This is, this, this is the Lynx. They should sponsor me. The Lynx uh, vapor, uh, we vapor. This is called the Eden. I also have uh, the Eros. I'm not, um, these things are going to have to sponsor like a full me. full of mad just gadgets, man. Yeah. So it's Son, like Dante watched the James Bond movies. Don't nobody just smoke joints no more. Don't nobody just. That's mad gay, yo. <laughs> I, like I would, but you know the harshness to the lungs. Jesus you know, try Christ, to mitigate man. New York the... is dead, you, man. Dave, you gotta try that shit. He fucking with that volcano with the bag. It's son. great, son. You've been hanging around them white boys too long. I be seeing you. I be seeing you around town hot boxing in your car and shit, Andre. I don't even say what's up no more. Andre be having all kinds of weirdo motherfuckers in his car smoking. I be like, I get it. That's a damn lie. <laughs> Andre is fully in the lifestyle. Andre wipes his ass with weed infused toilet paper. Yeah. Now, just so like, he, got, everything. he got hemp toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. He got he hemp pet. toothpaste. Yeah. You gotta be brush. good to your nether region. Yeah. <laughs> It's my fault, Dave. He wasn't. He wasn't even smoking before me. I turned him on and turned him out, just like I do these bitches. What the I'm fuck out of here? 
<laughs> well, you slip on some ice, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> I ain't yeah, that Gators old, don't Dre. do good on ice, do they? <laughs> Dre, I ain't that old. Yo. I ain't that old. I still got my faculties. You know what I mean? Yo. I got all my parts. And just so you know, when I was fucking running through the hood with my gators, I went to the shoe man and I got the non-slip rubber so that I could still be fly and hook off of the nigga in, in an elevator. Oh, I, love, I love this. I used to have a joke. I used to say, yo, I'm, 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 I'm famous enough to have $2,200 gators and, and, and I'm ghetto enough to have rubber, have rubber bottoms put on them in case I got to hook off on the nigga. You got to. Dante was walking around with alligator boots on top, but Air Max is on the sole. This <laughs> nigga <laughs> had the worst footwear you know the man. <laughs> Yo, man keep, it, keep it for real. I had, My nigga I had, had shocks on the bottom, but the top had I got alligator the, boot. Nigga, I got the bottoms from Everlast. So I yeah, got, and that's, that's why you got to love a Chinese cleaner. They'll do it for you. They'll do They'll it. Do that shit. They'll do whatever you're asking for. Or you get an Eastern European uh, shoemaker. Mm -hmm. I was like, look, I need to, these are my joints. But I need some non-stick shit in case I gotta hook off. Right. Don't do any, my friend. I take care of you. See this? This is <laughs> good on nigga, the oil. Nigga just it's, took up a pair of ACG boots and cut <laughs> off the bottom, <laughs> slapped them onto Dante. Shit. This is good. See my nephew Harry on your way out for Grenada. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably one of my relatives. Harry probably standing one in the corner, rolling some coin between his fucking fingers. <laughs> That's the meetup Play, spot. Playing some weird Eastern European card game that nobody knows. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, we need the extra dip. It's backgammon. Backgammon. You guys don't even understand how it works. God damn it. I do not. Backgammon and bocce ball. I just be yeah. watching that shit happen. I don't give it. I don't get it. The bocce. Uh, yeah, I don't get the bocce ball either. It's kind of like shooting dice, but with handballs. Same thing. Yeah. I never learned how to shoot dice until comedy. Yeah, because you got a bunch of degenerate friends. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, never learned, I never learned how to shoot dice. I was, I remember I was shooting dice and they were teaching me how to shoot dice and I lost. And I was like, nah, nah, do over. And then they was like, yo, you can't have I like, nah, we doing that shit over, right? So my uncle was watching. My uncle said, if you can't gamble and lose, don't gamble. Yeah. Because there's no such thing as do overs. You're going to get murdered. And ever since then, I, I never played Lotto. Yeah, I'm the same way. I be at the casino just looking because of that same shit. I gambled away my picture money in high school. My mom ain't had no graduation pictures of me. <laughs> I was supposed to go pay that shit. I let my cousins and them talk me into shooting dice on the corner. I could double my money. And then you so, sold it. But she didn't mind. She don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> See you the look away? That's my new joint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just have empty picture frames where the the fucking school photos you were supposed to go. Dead, he got no? the he got the picture that come with the frame. Yeah, just, yeah they yeah. leave it. In. <laughs> just a so, white couple. If you want to see my graduate, we cut it out of the yearbook. We just cut a little one out of the yearbook and stuck it in the frame. Uh, Dave, what's going on, baby? It's good. You know I love you, bro. It's I know, good to man. See you. It's so it's crazy to... that this joint got us all divided, all in the same city like this, but we won't even see each other, man. I really Look, didn't like y'all anyway, so I'm good yeah, with this. Yeah, I know. I, I can feel by the handshakes. You try to rattle my bones and try to get a grip on my neck every time. No, you I never, me did, never did that. Yeah, never I did that. Yeah, I felt it. I felt it. Never you know. did that. You got the wrong guy. <laughs> it's all right, though. You know, you I'm, I'm, be I'm beyond about, that. I'm no longer you, you a pup no more. That, that's why I'm here. That's you, why I'm here. I came it. to promote this next project <laughs> before I go because I love you. I'm going to come back on. I'm going to come back on. I but see what December Dave 25th, is on. December 25th. I got my I first you, special babe. coming out. It's self-produced, self-made. I'm following the blueprint of all the rappers, Master P, Jay-Z, Nipsey Hussle. All right, the first one, I'm not going to tell y'all how much of it I sold because I sold it out the trunk of my car and I ain't paid taxes on that shit. However, like... <laughs> well, you but, could be exaggerating, so it's fine. You can get the numbers. The, hey, hey, that's, that's the one thing. Numbers don't lie, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. go to DaveTempleComedy.com because that's only where it's at. The audio, all of that shit is available now on uh, Tidal, Spotify, iHeartRadio, wherever you go to stream music, anything, uh, you go ahead and look up Dave Temple and you can run that album. The streams, we appreciate all of that. But there's visual that goes with it. So if you don't fuck with me off of that now and give me the bread for it, go listen to it. Be like, God damn, this nigga's actually funny. I want to see 
I want to see what this night was like. There's no way you're going to listen to it and then be like, I want to see this night. You know what I mean? So you could go to the website up front and watch it when it debuts Christmas Day, 9 p.m., DaveTempleComedy.com, or you can go ahead and listen to it and then sell yourself that way. But it's always going to be there, all right? Uh, this is go. where we this is where we sell the um the oven the inside grill after this nigga's <laughs> infomercial. Well, I, 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 I didn't know if the show was over or not. I almost I said sound, it sounded like it was over. It's over. It's over, it, it's over it, for me. Yeah. It's, it's over for me. Y'all go ahead and smoke out of your little plastic bags and all we, the goofy shit y'all doing. Dante's we, fifty years old with his college, <laughs> his college fraternity shit on. Go the fuck this, up, nigga. This <laughs> is what happens. This is what happens when you don't have any achievements. You ridicule <laughs> other oh, people's. People Remember this. Pay attention to this, Andre. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that, Dave. You don't look good in green. That shit is not your color. <laughs> M Envy is not your thing, man. You don't look good in green. Oh, all. yeah. Check out this hashtag, too, man. It's my show out here. Look at it this way. You look know what I mean? If y'all want some more free shit that I do well, out there. I'm all over the internet, man. In Google. all fairness to, to Dave Temple, we uh, <laughs> we had some technical difficulties. He had a short Dave, window. Dave, how, how, like, how you got to be out? Gotta how bounce. quick you got to be out, Dave? I, I'm supposed to be in this other... I was supposed to get in this show to do sound check five minutes so ago. I gave you another five. We, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do... So what are we going to do, Harry? What do you want to do? Well, we just keep doing the show. We'll do... uh. Just uh, and then we'll bring Dave first, back. Yeah. We'll bring Dave back. Sorry about that, Dave. We no doubt, up. man. Much love, though, man. I do want to come back. I want. I want to bust it up with y'all, though, man. I you love know, you. I got love for you, man. We all have to talk about. It's a lot been going on since since we had some. Dave, real quick before you go, Dave called me up when like when he first started listening. He was like, "Yo, you know that shit you be saying?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." That shit is true. I'm like, yeah, nigga, what the fuck you thought I was selling fucking M uh, VCR boxes with bricks in it, nigga? Come on. <laughs> and they, me and Dave will talk. But Dave, go do your thing. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, man. All right, peace. Yeah, All right, thank you, man. Dave Temple. Take care, y'all. I'm going to see y'all later. All right, peace. Word. 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 <laughs> word. <laughs> word. I don't know why you just said word like it sounded like a mid-90s rap high. song. He high yeah. shit. Word. Word. Word, yo. No, no, man. I'm asking you to move your Take car. Your easy, Word. Bro. Word. Yo, what are you he... trying to do? Take it easy. <laughs> He's like, what do you think about the diaspora of race and social and how they affect each other? Andre was like, word, yo. Word, yo. Oh, That's yeah, y'all feel me on that. You see? You expound off of just my one word. Son, <laughs> I straight... I had a, a joint. I want to talk about this. I had a joint. I had this kid that got on, the, you know, I had a consultation with him, right? Yeah. So he he calls me up and he start. Here's the first thing. I don't know if you notice this, Harry, when you talk to dudes sure. or Dre. When, nah, because Dre usually just laugh at niggas when they fucking yeah. up. Dre's not helpful. The the most uh, advice you get out of Dre is stop being a bitch. You're like, oh, thank Dre, you. Dre, you, yeah. you ever had to pull a nigga and give a nigga advice? You yeah, ever I've, do given, I've given some advice. Give me, give me an example. Give me an example of some shit that we talk about here and you hit your boys up. Shit. I'm... Yo, chill. <laughs> that's that's exactly what the fuck we're talking about. That is exactly what exactly we're talking it. about. That you cannot, you are not helping I'm people like, out. Hey, hey, yo, you wallet. <laughs> Again, completely useless. Yo, bro, chill out. <laughs> yo, you wilding, nah. Yo, you and he like, and He's like, what? And you like, come on. Yo. And then I'll be like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely. <laughs> Andre, uh, Andre will be giving away uh, thirty-seven second consultations. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Hey. Come I on may now. not have fixed your problem. However, you're gonna have fun in them thirty-seven seconds. You like, have a good job. Uh, Yo, oh, what? Yo, you wildin'? Come Yo. on now. I, Chill, Yo, bro. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole. Yeah. I Here's what I don't know, yeah. Harry. If you ever noticed this, yeah. dudes will call me 
and you could tell that they was all deep in the the pickup artist stuff. You ever notice that? Oh, every once in a while, yeah. When you, they you be hitting you with, they hit they hit you with the high value male, the all the terminology, uh, negging, and they use all the all the terminologies. Yeah, the, the compliment, the negging, the compliment that's not a compliment. The backhand. Oh, oh I feel I feel like I didn't give her. This dude was like, I give. I feel like I didn't give her enough con uh con comfort. I didn't give her mm. enough comfort. So you get that, a, yeah. There's a which just there's some a, there's some validity oh, to those there's tricks. There's validity to it. To those tricks, but overall you still if you don't have the direction that you need to get things done long term. Oh, hold on, what is what is this? The game? The like, pickup like, game. Like, yo, so like the game, what? the pickup game, the whole the whole You ever read Neil Neil Strauss's book? And the they, yeah, and they're doing the whole I'm negging you and Remember oh, that dude, you. the guy Valentino we had in here? Valentino. Yeah, remember we had to do Valentino as a pickup artist? I definitely remember the thing about pickup artists. I like I, I remember what pickup artist is, but I don't remember the Valentino. He was just one of the guys who was actually a pickup artist and, and he came on the show. And they do like those YouTubes and they you know go to random girls and shit. Yeah, like that. jump out. Ah, they do all kind of crazy shit. But um so they'll talk to you when I get a consultation with somebody. They'll be like, you know, I, I, I didn't create enough comfort and I this and I did that. And they, because to them, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a process. Formula. Steps, yeah. It's a flow chart, you know, if yeah. then, then whatever, whatever. Um, so nothing work like that though. <laughs> it does, but you can't maintain it. Like I know so guys ultimately- who are, it ain't working. Yeah, I get yeah. you. Well, because it's a system of like some of it is tricks, right? So it's creating it's a not, sense. I mean, there's a there's a psychological background to the tricks and stuff. Um, you know, stuff like if you talk to a girl at a bar and you talk to her over your shoulder. That, but what you're really doing is you're exploiting the subtext. Like but you're if creating. I, so what, you know, with that with that particular move, which is you're trying to show the girl that you don't have necessarily value for her or you're not into, you know, right. it's like creating a bidding war, but it's a false bidding war. Right. Here's the, here's the yeah. crazy shit. I, Dre, check this out. If I square up to you and I'm, I'm barking, right? The first thing you're going to do is square up. Like, you, you, you know what I'm saying? So there's a subtext to me being aggressive. You feel me? And you automatically respond to that because, you know, and it's not even a thought process because you, you've been in them joint in, in, that, in that environment. You just automatically know how to respond. So a nigga's talking shit. You give him, you give him half shoulder, right? And you, 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 you at least, if you, even if your hands is down, you, you're, you're sideways, you're yeah. giving a smaller target, your hands is ready. So there's a subtext because I'm commuting, I'm, com, I'm, I'm uh, communicating aggression and you are instantly reading it. And so the same thing is true when, like, if I'm, if something is barking and I'm talking to him over the shoulder, yeah. this nigga's a, he, this nigga's a clown. Like I don't even in my mind I don't even think he has the ability to even pose a threat. So I don't even got to explain, like, nigga. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how disrespectful it is. Not really necessarily disrespectful, but I'm not worried about him. Hey, oh shit! Y'all want to see something? Oh sure, why not? What do you see? It's giant not your dick, baby. is it? Okay, good. good. I figured the only it's reason. It's a giant oh, baby. <laughs> First, first snow. He had his first oh, snow today. His Check his back. Tims. <laughs> he got hot Tims, yo. What you oh, do? your camera is off. He you shut your camera off. <laughs> you is camera. he supposed to have teeth? <laughs> this baby's got a lot of stuff. There we go. Hold on. What <laughs> are you doing with my camera? Oh. I don't know what. He's kicking away with Timberlands on. He, he looks like a small t- young adult. <laughs> Yeah, he does. Yo, he's, he's only big as shit. Hold on, let me stand him up. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, that is gigantic. He's a giant baby. <laughs> What's his tax ID? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me back. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, uh, he's being corny now. He's like over it. <laughs> 
Yo, I found, yo, he rips the, the you know them hard ass Dr. Seuss books? <laughs> yeah. You got to talk yeah. to Mike Dante. The hard ass Dr. Seuss books, he he rips the them. pages out of them joints. Oh, Jesus. The, the cardboard That's joints? Good. Now, is it because he just wants to rip it, or is he like, this shit's corny, and he's just ripping them in half? He just... He's like, like I don't give a fuck about green eggs and ham. You stop. He's the vegan baby? (laughs) Yeah. He goes, fuck this shit. Vegan baby? He's shawarma. (laughs) (laughs) He definitely not no vegan baby. Uh, He got octopus. We had squid. Oxtail. Oxtail. Beef stew. Oh, jeez. Uh, all right. Maybe Let me that's go. why he looks like a twenty-three-year-old. That's right. Yeah, that's why he looks like an <laughs> undergrad student already. He looked. He looked like he went to school with Andre. He was like, "Yo, that's hey, my yo, man. You, bro, you look familiar." <laughs> South Jamaica. All right, go, go, go. All right, yeah, go. poor little guy. He's right. getting frustrated. Uh, all right. Uh, hey, this is um, his first snow. Visit from little Dante know. Jr. Sonny, we taking the Dr. Seuss books. And... I'm like, son, <laughs> what you doing? You be wilding out. I'm and, then he, and then he shouted readings for bitches, which I thought was. <laughs> he did say like, that. That's his first word. <laughs> he was like, Dr. Seuss is mad racist. You know, he's, Dr. Seuss is mad racist, right? You know what? Here's the thing. At this I point, you could tell that, me, you could tell me yeah, anybody's racist it. and I would believe it. Yeah. Google exactly. it. Exactly. I just believe it. Like he was nigga spouting racist. Dr. I didn't. Seuss. I don't remember that book. Which which one of the kids' book was that? Was Sounds like, about right. He goes, the nigga is bigger. That was. <laughs> <laughs> now I got a trigger. <laughs> Something. I'm Hide sure. Hide your girls. Hide your wife. Sure. <laughs> oh Everything Yo. you can you can search back the history of so many things and be like, damn. Everybody for everybody. real, America. Yeah. <laughs> it's never. It's they never. Like, what? <laughs> We don't like you, son. Hmm. Like, what? We didn't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Even with the whole case of the vaccine and people having their, like, they're like, I'm not sure things about it. It's like, all right, you got to give us credit. If a, if a black person is a little apprehensive about the government's decision, it's not like we just pulling that out of thin ass air. Well, that one got a little basis of history. <laughs> First of all, what about the Tuskegee Airman? We seen this shit before. Like, it's not like we just making it up, nigga. This ain't DC comic book. Nobody made this. Shit is... Yo, Harry. Yeah, but who hates y'all? Who hates Armenians? Turkish? The Turks. The Turks. Yeah, they tried to kill. They tried to kill, uh, and they did kill like uh, almost a million Armenians, maybe more. And they Turks hate the Greek too, right? Greeks. Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of people have some problems with the Turks. They're very ornery in that area. They're not they the most likable. Out. Yeah, they're, that's the one way to put it in history. That's what the history books read. They'd be wiling out. That's what they said that's about the, the Armenian Empire? genocide. They were the Ottoman Empire, yeah. Yes, okay. sir. They, bing, 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 bing. So, 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 so the reason that they had such a big issue is just the same power struggles that Greece was going through at a different time. Um, no, there were more religious issues with the Armenians. Armenians were Christians uh, and uh, Turks were Muslims and they just wanted to eradicate wanted the entire to eradicate race. Them. Yeah. Because because mm. you you think your myth is better than mine. Yeah. Corny. Wait, Little so this is corny. Ar- Armenia was originally Christian. They still are Christian. No, no, Armenia. I'm talking about like country's origin, dude. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. yeah. Uh, they, went you, from, they went from pagan to Christian. All uh, right. Yeah. If you ask Armenians, they'll tell you that they were the first Christians. But I, I have found that a lot of countries claim to be the first Christians. But uh, Arme- Europe, the first Christians is Jewish. I think they would be Jewish, Dante. Technically. That's what I said, uh, Jewish. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. First Christians are Jews. Well, yeah, it ends up being a whole thing. What are you, rolling a thing there? Me? Yeah, this is, this is not so much a show as this is a holiday party that we decided this to throw impromptu through. Yeah. So, oh, so yeah. this so is let Christmas. Me. This comes out Christmas week. So if it seems like we're half assing it, it's because a lot of us still have Christmas shopping to do. Yo, that's why um, a ten minute appearance from our guest Dave Temple and he was out. <laughs> Don, he, he didn't for, give a fuck. He did Don, an infomercial and broke out for his. <laughs> I can't wait to get his uh, Fry Daddy or whatever he's uh whatever, Fry Daddy whatever he's selling. <laughs> <Fry Daddy. laughs> 
He got the vortex. They got the vortex, the heat vortex in that shit. The cop, there's copper in it though. That's how you know it's good. There's copper in it. Oh, that's funny. That's dope. Um. So anyway, the dude, these dudes be talking that comfort, um, uh, nagging. They use the the the, the pickup the terms. Yeah, the, t- the pick and I can terms. always tell that uh, here's a dude who's trying to you trying to mix my joint with with them dudes. It's not the same thing. I'm not a pickup artist, dude. No. Yo, no. it would be funny if there was like a, you know, them old kung fu movies where you go to different <laughs> martial arts houses, this, and you like compare disciplines. I would kick some know, niggas. I would kick somebody's like, sign right. Somebody in Sifu versus the pickup artist, and then I you would, go. I would jump up and front kick somebody's sign in half. I think the the battle would be like a single, just some girl, just in some bar, and each dude has to like. Practice their method of how they get the girl to be, you know. We tear right through Steve Harvey's book. That's for damn sure. Are we with, I mean, are how we, fast would you though? I mean, what, it's all I, bullshit. Steve the guy's Harvey? been married three times. Yeah, you you can condense that down to like a or well, a chapter, maybe a, a stamp. You can write yeah. that on the back of a stamp. My Andre, name. can you adjust your volume a little bit? I think it's it's coming in a little hot, man. Is Who, there a way to? Me? Yeah, yeah, yours is yeah, you're, a little, you're a little raspy. You're a little raspy. That nigga got knobs over there. <laughs> I got nigga, knobs. That nigga got knobs. He got productions. All right, it's. Remember yeah, when it's Dre lower, but you got to talk into it. Yeah. Remember when Dre was uh, just leaning into the computer? That was only three weeks ago. Let's not act like that was that long ago. <laughs> until I think his management's like, "Hey, you, if you're gonna do this thing, you might want to do some put some." production value into it and finally there is like little chit chats fuck all right adjustments oh let me tell you this story the so forthcoming year so the dude the dude goes the dude is like yo i broke up with my girl mm. i'm like okay i go who broke up with who she said she broke up with me he goes but i feel like i i feel like what happened was i didn't give her enough comfort like i was i was being elusive i was being aloof and i think i was too much aloof and she became she became insecure and then she just left but i know she's in love with me and i go word the she's in love with you and she just bounced on you mm. I, how's that she oh she's she's so in love with me. Yeah, that's why she left, right? <laughs> nah, son. That don't add up. Here's the and then he was saying, you know, like he had he so the in pickup artists there's um the opening, then then you 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 create you you flirt where you create tension, then you create comfort, and then you close. It's like three stages. So the first thing is to to, to open interesting then to to banter back and forth so you build attraction then if you so if a chick is attracted to you and she's not um and she doesn't feel safe with you doesn't matter how attracted she is she's going to bounce because her safety's in 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 uh in question so you got to build comfort it's and you build comfort by so like if you're at a bar, you know the bartender and the people know you there and, and how you deal with, you know, your body language. So there's this subtext. And then once you have the attraction and the comfort, then you seduce, right? That's like the nonverbal touching. It's almost like statistically the more stuff you put there, the less likely you are to be a rapist, basically, for, right. for yeah. a woman's perspective. So all those yeah. little things add up so that she can go, all right, what are the odds that... What are the odds that a rapist everybody says hello to? Just don't, and it seems silly to say it, but that's right, like right. or how you or break if down he does, I'm I'm gonna be able to find this dude. Somebody right. will know this dude, right. so he's not hiding. So um, you're being secretive, which is deceptive. The problem is when these dudes start listening to that pickup stuff, they're under this. Imp- so they're trying to find the right formula. They need the right amount of attraction, the perfect amount of comfort. Oh, the like, timing. Be water, my friend. It's just Bruce Lee out here. That's but it. in order to be water, right, you got to put in the work. You got to really be that dude to mm. settle into yourself so that you can let it happen. If you, if you throw a right hand, if you throw a left hook, I'm automatically slipping. I, I, I've done it so many times that I I know that that's just the action. I don't think 
I need to slip the punch or, 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 or block or whatever, it, it automatically happens. And the only way you get to that point where you're natural is when you, when you, when you actually get to the point where you are just you. You show up, you, you act as you. So I was trying to explain to do, he was trying to balance the, balance the, 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 um, the comfort with the attraction and all of this stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, dog, this is, it's, it's funny how I remember studying that stuff when I was younger, but then when I, um, when, when, when I hear it now, it just, it, it automatically says to me, oh, you're not you're not really what you think you are in the first place. Like you're trying to, if you're trying to make the. Well, it's the, just trying to game the system to some degree. That's what it is. It's about learning tricks and stuff to help you to win. Com- to overcompensate yeah. for something that you don't think that you're really, that you're really uh, valuable enough to, to have. You know, to this day, like any time that I like, would go out or something. I don't have tricks or anything. I don't have like a set series of things. It, it was just conversation and see where the conversation goes and see how, you know, I can guide the conversation where I want it and need it and just to make well, somebody I mean, look, comfortable. Let's be, let's be honest. It's, there is a strategy to it. You know, you know that if you just meet the girl, you don't put your hand in her pants. You know oh, that. Sure, that's of gonna, course. Yeah. So, so there's a strategy, but the, the but the point is. It, the strategy comes from a a, a a a thought process. It's like I always say this: I don't want to fuck somebody who don't want to fuck me. You don't want to fuck me. I don't want. I'm fine with that. I, I I totally respect your point of view that you might not want to, but I also there's all of this other stuff that comes with being with me. I take that with me. I go if you're not fucking me, I take that with me, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so. But I feel like I'm in the game that I deserve to be in. I, I, I don't feel like I cheated to get there. I didn't I didn't deflate the football. I didn't you know, I didn't I didn't make the grass grow high. I didn't put resin on my hands. I'm there because I deserve to be there. And because I'm there, my actions, I'm not gonna let you interpret my actions in a way that I don't mean it. So whereas you know, uh, 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 remember years ago, remember that, um, what's the chick the, from the thing is? I can't remember her name. Kaylin Bailey? No, no. no the, Shannon. Yeah, so the, um, remember she said that if she don't, she, her friend said that if she don't, if a guy off orders soft serve ice cream. That's right, yeah. Shannon's uh, friend said that. I've heard about this. Shannon's I wasn't there friend, for that. Yeah, you were this was right right before your time, but Shannon's friend basically said she doesn't like when men eat soft serve ice cream because it's too feminine. What is and soft she can't, serve ice that's cream? That's like a custard, no, like the like the, yogurt, like, the fr- like the frozen yogurt, the one that you don't have to scoop. No, it comes like, out of like the machine. Mr. Softy, like Mr. Softy. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's also called custard or, yeah, like a soft okay, serve. I just see custard. all of it as I, all of that shit is ice cream. I no, but the one that's like a thicker whipped cream. I know I, I can understand from visuals what, yeah, you, what yeah. you're saying, but I never like classified it. But okay, she doesn't like men that like ice cream. Cool. No, no, no. It. She doesn't like men that have soft serve ice cream. Particularly. Because they're licking it. And because you but got, wouldn't a girl like to lick stuff? No. Dog, you trying to make sense out of nonsense. Yeah, That's it's the foolishness. it's foolishness. And then yeah. when you when you start when you furrow your brow and you go what? Why? You start trying to figure it, and you go, "Nah, I said no, nah, you crazy, right?" And and I was like, that was the thing. And then her friend was like, "Oh, I kind of like a guy who eats soft serve ice cream, right? Because one dated corn balls, and the other one dated like thugs. Yeah. So the so the the one that was baiting, you know, bait, not just thugs, but abusive motherfuckers, to see a motherfucker." Licking nice, ice cream yeah, kind of yeah. takes the edge off him. But the point is that there's this subtext and and you as a guy are allowing this woman to to define what your actions are by some mm-hmm. ridiculous arbitrary standard that don't even make no sense. But to the same token, um, and she was not a hottie either. She was a high. 
She was yeah. like a five, four, she was, five. She was a no. Everybody's audacity was, is too much, man. She was in no condition to be making demands during a negotiation. Let's put Especially it that way. about some ice cream, bitch. Right. You, you better hope that I got money for ice cream because you should be dating homeless dudes. So, the <laughs> fucking, but, but she was, but in her mind, she was this arbitrary thing she put in her head and she, she judged him. But to be honest, the dudes who she was fucking with, they kind of was like, oh, you, um, oh, this is what you think of me. And so I'm going to, I'm going to act accordingly, you know? And ultimately what happened was, you know, she ended up, she ended up getting married and the dude dumped her and whatever. So I guess because the dude didn't eat ice cream, she thought he was the dude. And then it ended up being. Well, the dude ended up cheating on her, if I recall. Because he was eating some bitch pussy instead of ice cream. That's what. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, bitch. Out there. So anyway, the dude, the dude was trying to figure out the, the special, um, the, the, the right combination. And he was talking about this girl who had broke up with him. And I said, well, first of all, did she say she wants to get back with you? He goes, no. I go, well, I don't, I don't understand how that's even on the table. You get, uh, get back with her? Yeah, yeah. But. She didn't. I, I said, "Are you communicating with her?" He's like, "Nah." Why I'm like, "What's up with him?" I I don't. I asked him that. He he said that he thought it was because he didn't give her enough comfort, what she enough say? attention. She just she said that she's she feels insecure around him and she doesn't want to be with him. Insecure. So uh, I don't insecure know if that is was an interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting statement. I don't hear many women say that on their way out. Yeah, well, I've heard that before, but in the yeah, context I've that I've heard it, yeah, it, it probably you know like it's surrounding after the fact. Your lifestyle after yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, after, after the, the fact, fact is a different thing. But I mean, on the way out, like, hey, what's the matter? <laughs> to literally say I'm insecure is interesting. And Either I, he's and putting they, that on her, or, or I mean, there's something more to it. Well, he was trying to say that he just didn't do, he was off by his calculation. And the, the, it's like this, if, you, if you're going to buy a Bentley, right, and you worth $10 billion, right, yeah. you walk in, I, I want this one, do it come in blue? I need a blue. You, you, you're not coming in there like tiptoeing like you don't belong there. Because you, your money says, your value says that you belong there, right? When you walk in there and you a thousandaire and you walk in the Bentley spot and you know you can't afford a Bentley, you walk in there real quiet. Well, what is this? They go, you want to, you need some help? And they, you, you're whispering because you don't think you belong there. So to think that you could find the, the right combination the, the exact combination that'll get you in says to me that you don't think you deserve to be there in the first place because if you really deserve to be there the what you're going to do is you're going to be like yo i'm trying to I'm trying to see you and she go no i'm not interested you're almost like bitch like something's wrong with you like you don't clean your eyes out or something mm -hmm. like i'm dope like that like why why would you not I mean, and I'm saying not from an arrogant point of view, from the fact that you've put in the work. Larry, Listen, I, Harry, how much I, weight have you lost so far? Probably 40 pounds. 40 pounds. Yeah. Well, and Larry from Larry, now on. It's all right. It's, you don't have to. I, he slipped Larry up. We don't is have a funny to, ass name. We don't Fuck have off. to Bob Kelly this and Shut take up, that Larry. and go on a 20-minute <laughs> rant. Cause he slipped uh, uh, Andre, you lost 40 pounds. I'm way the fuck out of my mark. Andre stays right in between ripped and adonis fuck mm. you yeah. andre <laughs> fuck and appreciate you shit. your fuck biggest you thrill your, of the year your is the young volcano. cells your young muscle cells you suck i'll be working out and fasting eating right you feel me uh, we was on right set Kyrie. we was on set and then in a loft shooting nori's nori's mm -hmm. joint we gotta have nori on too um and this nigga reaches up on the stairs and starts doing pull-ups in the fucking loft. <laughs> Cause I just, it was, so off. honestly, I do shit like that because it's just fun. Like, even when I was outside, I was doing stupid shit trying to climb on a tree. It's goofy. 
It wasn't in any sense of the word to be like, oh, no, I'm not. I, I, I was I'm having not, a good time. <laughs> nigga, nigga, I'm not. After the pen. <laughs> right, I'm, I, right, I'm, I'm not. Anything, I'm, that's your fault. I'm not even <laughs> judging it. I'm just saying, I wish I could do pull-ups. I haven't done, like, a, I haven't done a pull-up <laughs> since I was four. My arms can't handle it yet. That's is, this is a long way away. Son, and a, and a clean, he like did a clean three. Like he grab, he just kind of placed his hand on top and just rose up like he was fucking David Blaine. I was like, fuck <laughs> you. He was just doing exhibition work. It wasn't even a struggle. I don't appreciate that shit at all. This thing is levitating. <laughs> no respect. Like, uh, no respect it at all. He's talking while he's coming. Yo, how many months you got? <laughs> I'm like, oh god, I hate your youth. <laughs> That's funny. If I ever get my six back, back, I'm not talking to neither one of y'all. Oh jeez, I, I support I'm just, that energy, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a break off our friendship. You gotta say, yo, Dante, you I'm gonna soda. be like. And then you know, you know when like a proud black dad gonna start slow clapping. I was yeah. like, you goddamn right, nigga. You don't need none of us. <laughs> Fuck up, Harry. <laughs> Harry. Anyway, what was your point with this digression, Dante? We were saying. I so lost 40 the, pounds. So the dude, so I, so what I'm saying is you've done the work. Yeah. You've done the work. And this guy's trying to find out the master combination right. so he can win the game. And so I'm like, doesn't Doug, have to do the work. You don't win the game. You walk in owning it. Anytime there's a relationship, anytime a man is with a woman, it means sacrifice. It means you're going to spend money you don't want to spend, do things you don't want to do. Listen to shit you don't want to listen to. Have to bite your tongue on certain things because you don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. So it's a sacrifice. Fucking facts, dude. It's this. Jeez. So, so there's no problem. I'm and I'm not advocating. I mean, you know, I'm not advocating that you don't. I'm, what I'm saying is just know that it's a sacrifice. And if you know that it's a sacrifice and you're already losing, lose on your terms. That's the Why would you it. lose and yeah. lose on somebody else's terms? So you get nothing. You get none of what you want. But it's a weird thing we try to break down because the, the mentality is the supply and demand chain is in reverse. So the guy's got to go up to the woman. The guy's got to woo the woman. The guy's got to convince the woman that he's a good person. There's a and supply and demand shit of like got a woman, like you just gender. But as far as like what you are, what do you mean? I don't follow Andre. Like, all right, there's a bunch of single men, but if you are a quality dude, that makes it, you, you like elevate your status out of just being another guy. The, no, you're the, saying you're more, more work, desired. Yeah. You're saying you're more, more desired. You yeah, in with yourself. yeah but, no, even no doubt, even, but, but how many times have you been in a situation where you, you, are the, you are the prize and you're still, and somebody's telling you how you fucked up? Yeah. Like you, you, yeah. like I'm paying for dinner. I'm driving. I'm picking you up. I'm doing, I don't even want to go to this dumb play anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and somehow I'm still not. Yeah, and you bring nothing to the of dating is for women. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's what I mean. A day yeah. in my life was like, I want, nigga, it's so easy to be us. To, to be, I don't know if to be me. Yeah. yeah. I've never was like, it's a lot easier the to be a man. Ideas they have, dude, for certain yeah. types of places. Like, I went and had a meeting with, uh, this is funny. <laughs> These, you notice the man and woman difference in just business. I've had meetings with, like, managers who are guys that try to, like, hey, I want to take you out somewhere, chop it up. It's way more bare bones. And then the women want to go to like some gorgeous fucking place with ambiance and the bowls are shaped a certain way. Each plate is forty dollars, and it's way more. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's more intricate. It's, like that it's more detailed. Just them, yeah. It's always more detailed. Date what, night, yeah. movie night, all that. Well, shit. you because you don't guys are, don't tend to be malleable. You're not. You don't just bend to whatever it is. Yeah. In fact, in fact, if you mm. meet a dude who's malleable, you like, yo, that dude's a sucker. Right away, you be like, yo, I don't, I don't trust that dude. He, he got too many he, sides like, to him. Too much. Whatever, yeah, the, we, whatever. We kinda, guys kind of know what we're, what our lane is and what we enjoy, and sometimes to our own detriment because there are some guys who don't try new shit, and there's nothing wrong with trying but, new shit, but you gotta want to try. For clarification on that, because kind of the way I live, like, I will eat pretty much whatever kind of food. 
I, I, I'm not the dude who's like, oh, I'm not going to play that game. Why? Because I've never played it. So since I don't know how, I won't participate. I don't do that. I'm, yeah. I, I'm cool with, with losing as long as the experience was good. Right. Well, that's, so like, I, I mean, you I, wouldn't I, be a comic. You wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be a comic if that, I mean, that's the whole point of the comic. Mm. Being a comic is, is putting it out there to lose that you might lose. But I'm so like, you like you I'm okay it? with it. What it, what would you yeah, define as, as the I that experience? What would you define as the reason that like we don't want to go out and stuff as much as women want to go out? I think it's just bare simplicity because like when I think of even when I do have, say say I have a food craving that that occurs and my girl has a food craving, hers is gonna have to. It usually will cost us to go further to get it. Mine is usually like if my food craving also comes up with locale. Oh, I'm hungry. What's close? What's close? Yeah, Where yeah, she yeah. will go, I'm hungry. I a, want that yeah. thing that made me feel this thing from, and she's going to go to Long Island, bro. Yeah. She's going she gonna, she gonna to ask, let's go to Staten Island. I want Andre, let's go to, because she's See, chasing. But that's that where you as a dude very, have to go, look, we're not doing that. I, like, I'll be trying to, you know, but also, it's like, I, I, it's a balance. I, it's a balance because. I think that thing, that side of them, if that shit wasn't there, dude, life would we be, wouldn't want them. We we dude, life would be yeah, you're right. Black. We, I like like you be the, like yo, the, what you doing? Same. Th- you be like, what you doing? Same pa- thing I was doing yesterday. Papa John's, yeah, like <laughs> Papa John's all day every day. <laughs> the fact that they want that shit, it, it's no, a, it's, it's good. good it's good, and you should want to be pushed and stuff to do new things, and it's great because. My experience, my experience with my girl now is like there's new things I've gotten to experience and new things she shows me, which I'm grateful for. It's a balance, but there are situations. Have to mitigate excess. Yeah, but there is a there's a, there are situations where she'll ask about something or to do something, and she goes, "Would you be interested in that?" And I will say, "Not really, no." Mm-hmm. But if you really want to do, do it, shit, uh, if your heart is set on it, I will. I'll said, do it. Just do that. Drake. I say do it on some life shit. Well, yeah, I agree. On, some, on some life sh- like this is going this is more enriching to your soul than it is to the experience. But on some the idea of teaching where they say as you teach you learn. Yeah, man, but I don't I, I, don't, I, just, I don't feel like, like I'm going to be enriched by the Lilac Festival at this You point. don't know that, dude. You don't I don't know. remember I this. Don't, Harry, but do you understand? As much as you know, bro, yeah. you don't know shit. Right, but it's a balancing that's, act that's because just, that's just what life is, bro. You don't know, like, right? Even, even the idea of petting your dog. You love yeah. pet. You had a dog. Everybody loves petting animals. And yeah. There's a fucking neurological reason we like petting animals, man. This shit is bigger than you. Like, you have sensory touch and adaptations in your hands for this that release certain chemicals within your brain. You touch any fucking dog that lets you touch them, you suddenly feel better. Mm. That has no, you have no say in that matter. Which is the same way how if you go to a fucking lilac place, now you're mm-hmm. smelling all of these things that call the reason you smell plants is called terpenes well, and, mm-hmm. and lionels. So you smell these things. You don't take nothing into account, but they have effects in your body. Sure. Sure. So you can. fuck around, have a nice day because so your girl drags you out like, to some Dre's lilac like, convention. Stop playing. Go see the flowers, son. For real. Take your time. See them shits. I've bro. seen plenty I, of I'll flowers you, so, in my you life. You might fuck Dre. around, get a new bit. Now you crushing with this lilac bit. <laughs> Harry the lilac man. And it's all because you went to some shit you did not want to I'm not go saying to. say no to everything. I'm, I'm saying, saying say, say yeah no. to more shit. That's no, but here's the thing: the lilac request is a request just as valid to them as the request of "don't eat ice cream in front of me." And you got to differentiate no, when. Not, I don't think so because what's going to make a difference. You decide what? what's going to be that's, allowed. I do, and I don't want to go to the lilac festival. When I don't she give says a fuck some about dumb that. Shit like, oh, don't eat no soft serve. You tell her, shut your ass up. And when she say, let's go to the lilac, we say, honey, all right, let's go have the lilacs. I, I, do you say yeah, what? Do you say yes to every request, Andre? You just said I you say don't yes say yes to a fucking Kobe level, nigga. I'm batting ninety nine. You say yes I'm to saying, everything. I, I'm saying yes. I say yes to a lot because it's like I feel mm. that since I do not know, I don't know where the experience is going to lead to something. Experiences the point, cause, are more valuable than whatever the fuck you think you're protecting, especially as what we are. Our essence is what we're selling. 
I fuck around and go to this place. I meet a person. I make the right person laugh. And not even the right person in the sense I could get a deal. But like, bro, you had a night where you affected somebody. You seen how that effect that had on yeah. them and it made your night better. Now yeah. you walking with a better posture. I would I will fuck around and go out there and make my day better. I have a better experience. I feel more enriched. I don't know where it's going to come from. So I'm going to just go out there and get it. I have no idea where the experiences will lead to lie fucking might trigger off some some certain memory in my brain that has me take off a new idea and ch change my path in life, a new direction. I, you, inspiration is out there. It's not here. Well, that's true. I, and I appreciate that. That's very valid information. I'm still not going to the fucking Lilac Festival. I, I'm not doing it, Dre. Because you know I'm what? Gonna I've been to I, I'm going to say something. Mm -hmm. Dre, that. That was a dope explanation. That was a really dope Very explanation. Very much so. I'm still not going to lie like that. that I, and, and that's fine, but that, <laughs> a, that was a dope, dope explanation. It was. In terms of, you know, opening yourself, and which is really, you know, what was resonating when you said that, is that there was a time when you was in this studio going, nah, I don't, what? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And to see you grow to the point where you're so open to it. I also had to unlearn shit. A lot yeah, of that came I get you. what people told me my limitations were. Bro, because yeah. I, I, you, if you get flashbacks to your childhood, you see so many things that you go, how come I don't do that no more? Where did that go? How, do I, how did I lose that piece of me? If somebody told you, stop allowing that shit to show. No more of that. And that's you, Dre, that shit, Dre, you just that's up, like, look, Dre, that, that that's dope as shit. That's dope as shit. But just listen, just put on your safety belt. You don't want to end up where Kanye is. All right, so, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it starts. It starts, starts at the Lilac Festival. But then, then, he, then he, you, next thing you know, you're doing then, a Sunday service. You, you're not paying people. And then you got money. You got money, so nobody don't want to tell you, nah, son. Uh, that's this bullshit. You just look weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, your Yeezys are ugly as shit. Are, his whole clothing line's all fucked up, man. <laughs> it's horrible. That is fucked up. Nigga, sneakers uh, are horrible. Dante, is there anything worse than his sneakers? Hey, so here, here's Jesus. the problem. I know where I'm going to get blasted right now. I'm going to go ahead and say it, though. I feel like I'm coming out the closet. I like Kanye's designs. Oh, what the fuck, Dre? <laughs> oh, no, bro, this makes, now this makes I more do. sense. You like, you, you like you look the Yeezys, more like Dre? Yeah. And the, why? And the thing about why? Why? Music, why? 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 Why you like him? All right, because Kanye, he created a a a thing about pieces. He didn't create a collection. When when you see a Kanye a full Yeezy outfit, top to bottom, Yeezy hat, Yeezy sweater, the, then the Yeezy, everything is so futuristic and contoured to another dimension. It don't look right now. But when you take Yeezy's clothing and take one piece and put it with your regular modern fit. It looks fucking good. Yeezys with some regular clothing and then Ye or some or a Yeezy God, jacket with some regular fucking shit. Things look it looks I don't Dre, I don't I love, I just I love don't. what kind of I mean of I, re I respect it, but I Hey man, if you enjoy it, enjoy it. I love it. And I'm a dude who will you know me, I will yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll throw a coyote on with alligator boots, you know what I'm saying? And car and, and, and army pants. I'll do mm -hmm. that. I'm um, gonna send y'all some documentaries of of like where is is he's I, I believe Kanye when he talk about this genius shit of how he's looking at how things are gonna look the problem twenty look, years from he, now right? when he does say some stuff yes but the problem is he's mentally ill too and so when it comes to the he point also where said he's, slavery was a choice so which one do you take to be true well you got to go from the future right. also slavery we, is a we, choice we, we understand context. We, we work in those parameters only as context. So it's like, contextually, I can take a person, you know, compartmentalize where and when they would make, they make sense to me, what advice is good advice, what advice applies, what doesn't, and then judge the whole person. Like, I don't yeah, have but that's, to just that's, see that's, you gotta You got to recognize that, that that in itself is a gift in itself because look at all the Trump supporters who are, who, who you can't tell them that they're not right. Because there, there's a there, they. But this is this is what's interesting. You know, when you said open yourself up and say yes to things, right? Mm -hmm. There's an openness 
to 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 let it come in and let it inspire you it's you're not f- looking for things that already support what you're thinking in your head in fact you're doing the opposite yeah you 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 try you have the outcome if you like that's the thing when i think with kanye he has the outcome already and then he's just trying to find out the path that he got to thinking that and that's the mental illness is that's his bipolar but, shit and his paranoia and stuff like that i don't know at anything about mental illness i have no idea or understanding how it works all I'm saying is from what I've seen Kanye do musically, visually, and then to design, it's cohesive. It's it's in a actual line from from when he was working with Nike to to when he had the Louis Vuitton Don moment, like when he had the uh get it, I get it. I mean like, I, I, he I has think a thing. Yeah, yeah. Doing. Oh, I'm and not saying I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying I don't like it. No, I no, just, and that and that's completely fair too that yeah. like, i don't ever argue with nobody be like you should like this or should appreciate it because that's how that's none of artwork no, that I, I wonder i, I wonder I how many how many of these shoes he would sell if they weren't yeezy from kanye west you know i'm looking at some of these some of them are yeah, all right but, but the context but the context is the thing it's almost like we say all the time mm-hmm. yo that chick would be a bad bitch if she had a different personality a different body and a different right. face then that would be a different chick and so in the like you said context of of yeah. he's there he's able to create that partially because of his mental illness and the thing is, I'm not saying everything he's ever made is all fire. I'm just saying he's bat he's batting a very good percentage with really? the designs. That's how I feel about what the what, what Yeezy does. He bats a good fucking going, percentage, man. So we went off on a tangent for a second, but I wanted to get your thoughts on this, Dante, of like when do you go when do you say yes because you want to be open to stuff? Which I agree with Andre. It's not good to say no to stuff and just go, all right, it's out of my comfort zone. I don't want to do it. But at what is the balance of saying no and saying yes to try stuff and saying no Can because I, I, I just hate that. Go yeah, ahead, Dre. Go ahead. Talk. Go talk. I, I view it in the same way I view the idea of therapeutic drugs where I would say yes now to... Now we got it. Now I we know where say, it came from, Andre. I would it say all makes sense. yes to mushroom or yes to uh, ayahuasca, but no to heroin, cocaine, to cigarettes. To, because it's like I'm looking at although these things are also experiences, what can I attain from these experiences? Can't can't with these What about what right? about PC what about PCP? But what you about know, angel dust? No, huh? no, no, because none of those fall in the line of therapeutic. I cannot rip I the thing is the PCP absolutely the fuck not because Dante therapeutic means if how many times can I replicate this? And have this effect without it causing me damage. It has to has it has to have enhanced. Right, you're saying a, you're saying so a cost to rate PCP, cost to exactly. cost. Yeah, yeah. You can't uh, do PCP yeah. a bunch of times and have a good one. You can't do heroin a bunch of times and have a good one. All these things. <laughs> the, the yeah, high, but the more yeah, but go, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. So the question the question is this. So I that mean, if you, to the same thing with Harry's asking about how do I judge? Where do I go outside? But, if, it, but just because just because you don't you do use it, you can use it over and over and over again doesn't negate the 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 benefit that you could get from the one time that you do it or the two times you do it. We okay. take we take we take vaccines, chicken mm. pox, monk. We take it one time. Yeah. And then we're good. So it's one time. To, but again, you're talking about cost to re, to benefit That's ratio. You're judging yeah. So yeah. The um. But I mean, there's a there's some stuff. I was. It's funny because I was reading some stuff on PCP, and they're talking about now how it possibly could could cure certain mental illness, some certain chemical imbalances in the brain uh, with stuff. See, the thing that they do with these articles. Is mm. they 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 fuck cause science science jargon, yo. They it might have the same methyl group. So the same way you can have fenubit be related to MDMA, be related to uh may, maybe like fucking Different. a, a yeah. normal a normal chemical like GABA. They they it's all similar structure and all it needs is like one extra it's group. A, and well, like, it's now a, it's PCP. It, 
it's a synthesis. It's, it's a synthesization exactly. of, of I that. Fucking knew that's what they were doing, and then they're trying yeah. to do PCP. No, that's a fucking. Inf- you're doing inflammatory journalism, trying to get a thing going. So tell the full story. It's not fucking PCP. You have a different chemical altogether. And, all right, Harry's done with this. He's got to go sell uh, javelins. <laughs> <laughs> he got to go sell a javelin by the docks. So, uh, Harry, talk to me. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, you could all see my stuff at IHateComedy.com. Also, uh, at Harry Turjanian. That's where all my stuff is at. I'm posting stuff on Instagram, YouTube. Check it out. Also, check out uh, the Man School 202 Instagram. Real Man School 202. That's, uh, we're going to be posting some new content. We're going to be doing some live stuff there soon. Sooner than later. Uh, I want to shout out... Uh some of the new Patreons. Uh, real quick, I uh, want to shout out John, uh, D- Denard Goodman, Rick Lewis, uh, Brandon Frazier, uh, Kajun Dillard, um, Dre, not you, Dre, uh, <laughs> Dialhi Brooks, and Coast to Coast. Um, and Coast to Coast and Zoe Myers. All new patrons. Thanks for supporting us, y'all. I really appreciate that. Um, GYBB, get your balls. Oh, Dre, did you clap? I didn't even let Dre. Uh, did you? Um, he going to say Andre D. Thompson everything. So In between spots. In between spots, the podcast. Um, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Man, thank y'all for supporting them. The, uh, the the Patreon and if y'all need a one-on-one consultation hit me at DanteNero.com click on consult and we rock um, I appreciate y'all man I love y'all I love y'all for the support man and I, and I appreciate everybody giving back to us like we've been giving to y'all for the last eight years we are out Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson. Produced by Harry Turjanian. Executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.